Hey everybody, Plush Boy Gear back with another Jurassic World Dominion toy review. And today I am a little sleepy. I just woke up from a nap and the mailman knocked on the door with some of my Beyond the Gates orders from, I think, from May. We, we pre-ordered these two back in May. And I'm still opening it real quick. I'm... If you already saw the title of the video, then you know what we're going to be reviewing. But, I'm not sure what the title is, but, um, you guys are going to have to, uh, read it for me. I'm sorry. Alright. We got, yep, Alan Grant too. I haven't seen people find these a little earlier in the store, but I have them now, so I could, I don't give a damn. Let's go over Alan Grant, uh, I'm thinking, I want to review the trike first, Alan Grant, let's do the trike first. Oops. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail shot with the whole thing in the frame. Alright, there's the barcode. Oh, sorry. My bad. Alright, so you, there's literally just a little bit of Tape and I was really hoping that they'd make this a bit bigger, but you know, Mattel really likes small trikes, so I got a smaller one. Still looks good. So, as you can see, some assembly is required. Actually, it'd be smarter to open it from the back. Bigger than I thought it would be. All right, is this really a bendable piece? I don't know. But, all right, assembly is required. Put it in like that. There you go. I think this is how you do it. Hold on. Not 100% sure. I think it goes like this. I don't know. I don't know. This is a totally new figure to me. The joints on mine are very loose. This is a bit bigger than I um, originally thought it would be. But yeah, I heard July 31st is the release date for this at Target. So, check your targets. Like, the more you check, the more you fucking find stuff. Fuck, I'll just review them both. No. So, there's a lot of articulation on this. Let's take a look at the scope on the head. Uh, my, my phone's gonna die in a, in a little bit, so the fucking flash might come off. The paint on the horns is nice. They sculpted them to make them look dirty and worn out. And, uh, it's actually a, a, a rubbery material. The beak is painted with a brownish color, and the, it does not open, unfortunately. That'd be very nice if the beak could open and close. Um, the eye is painted with a orange with a black dot. 
the neck, where the whole head can move up and down like that. And it's on a ball joint, which is how it should be in real life, actually, is what I heard. See, so you, you can't really... It doesn't really go down like that, but it can go up pretty far, too. Uh, the arms can go out and in like that. Sorry if my hands are in the way. And then the hands can move, and the elbows here can move. And so can the shoulders. It can go forward and backwards like that. I'm terrible right now. You have some of these big thick scales on the back like that. And then you have... It's almost a brown like wash on the top. Which looks really good. I love how each spike on the frill is painted. Um, now let's take a look at the legs. The legs, the hips can go out and in like that. You can go forward and backwards like that. And then, unfortunately, the, the toe claws are not painted. I am so sorry. That got cut off. I'll probably put the two videos together. Um, where was we? Ah, right here. Um, it has a little bit of a paint right there. Uh, the claws are not painted. Here's the other leg. Almost broke it. Oh, I can't even get the fucking thing on camera. I just turned my camera off by accident. And then the knees can move like that. This is, can move. I don't know if this is bendable or not. But no, I don't think this tip of the tailpiece is bendable. Um, there you go. That's really about it. Um, I don't try to think. I don't know. I'm just so tired, you guys. I really want to go back to bed. Um, oh yeah, that, that's what I'll do. There you go. Alright, I'm going to turn you off and open up Alan Grant. Alright, peace.